Welcome to another episode of John Zogage and HO Trains. Today we'll be reviewing the Menards Pennsylvania flat car with Sunoco fuel truck. And it's their SKU number 2798318. And it retails on Menards website for $24.99. And so like Menards, it comes in this regular plain cardboard box with a plastic shell. And so here it is, that is beautiful. Pennsylvania flat car with Sunoco oil truck. Um, now, it's supposed to be secured to the flat car. It looks like the retainer clip and screw, it looks like, were either never attached or have come out. So hopefully it looks okay. But uh, anyway, I'm going to cut this open. There's the package. And if you like this cutter, you can get these probably for about 10 for a dollar at your local dollar store. Okay. Well, it is beautiful. It's just that it was not apparently screwed on. There's two screws and a clip which looks like it goes either, I'm not sure if it goes on the top or the bottom of the flat car, but we'll figure it out. It's not die cast, it is, it is plastic, but it does look beautiful and there's chocks for the wheels, which is nice. It looks like it can go, I'm not sure if that's actually attached correctly. I'll check that out. It'll work, even if the two chocks on this side match up with the tires. But uh, it does look very, very sharp. I am happy with it. Now, it's not very heavy. Wheels are metal and axles are metal. But trucks and couplers are plastic. We'll have to see if we can get this attached. But even if I, um, you know, even if I chose not to attach it and just use the flat car for something else, uh, it would still be a nice accessory to go on the layout at some point. Because the nice thing is Menards does produce 148 scale, so quarter inch to the foot trucks and. Uh, very, very nice. So, all right, let me see if I can get that reattached. And it seems to be that the two screws go through the bottom of the flat car, and then this little retainer goes over, and then there's two corresponding holes in the bottom of the truck. And as I was uh, mounting the Sunoco truck on the flat car, and I put the uh, mounting bracket in place, and I tried to screw through the bottom here, I found out that it, in my experience, the screws actually were not long enough to really bite into the, the body of the truck enough to hold it securely, either that or because it was so little, uh, such a short amount of thread, I may have stripped the thread. At any rate, it did not hold it securely. So what I ended up doing is I used a little bit of plastic cement there and uh, to, to hold it on there. I then removed the one chalk that was much too far forward. I placed that further back and I secured it with a little plastic cement. And then what I also did is I used a little uh, kind of a rubbery cement I have to uh, attach the tires onto the flat car. And I don't know, I could sometime detach this and use it by itself. But the truth is I kind of like the way it looks. See things online about Menards cars sometimes having couplers that are unreliable. On this end, coupler, when you actuate the little tab, doesn't really pop open usually. A couple times it did. This end just about every time 
actuate the tab and it pops open. I don't have any remote uncouplers on my layout. Layout's so small, so it doesn't really matter to me. I mostly don't want them to come open by themselves. And the only other Menards car I have, sometimes the coupler would come open by itself. Menards car does feel a little light, so I weighed it on this postal scale and came in at almost exactly seven ounces. Now, to compare, the only other Menards car I have is this Railway Express flat car with a Railway Express uh, vehicle in the back. And this is a die cast vehicle here. And it weighs in at about 7.7 .7 ounces. Good measure. I uh, weighed this Lionel MPC box car. And that is about 11 ounces. This Lionel flat car with two trailers weighs in at comparatively a whopping 13.7 ounces. And this is a plastic flat car. Without the trailers on the back, without these vans on the back, this weighs in at nine and a half ounces. So nine and a half ounces for the trailer with nothing on it versus seven ounces for the Sunoco. So uh, I would say probably does deserve maybe to have a little bit added weight or maybe put it toward the back of the train. So weight issue notwithstanding, I did notice that this car really rolls very, very freely. And Menards does advise you to lubricate the uh, axles a little bit once you get it, and I did, but uh, it seems to run much more freely than other cars I have. You just give it a little push, really rolls. So I mean, if you had a train of these cars without adding any more weight, I would imagine locomotive would be able to pull a lot more of them. But uh, to sum up, it is very light. I have not added any weight yet. Uh, Menards, based on my short experience with just the two cars I have, and based on what I've read, they do have some quality control problems they have to work out. And uh, the fact that this literally was unattached in the box, one of the chocks was way too far forward. There was a washer, but not two washers, so I don't understand really whether that was supposed to be used somewhere. The screws just really were not long enough in my experience. So they do have quality control issues. It does look really, really nice though, and you can't really beat the price. So overall, I am happy with this purchase. Let's see what this runs like. Let's get it going. Well, it certainly looks nice and it stayed coupled at least for now. So uh, overall, I'd say I'm happy with the purchase and certainly at the price. So thanks for watching John's O'Gage and HO Trains. See you next time.